great having Andrew Sanchez back here on the program. He's going to be fighting at UFC 257 on January 23rd. Andrew, how's it going, man? Good, good. How you doing? Doing well, doing well. Great to catch up with you. Uh, how excited are you to be on this card? Uh, you know, you're fighting on the same card as Conor McGregor. That always looks a little bit better than, say, just a regular card. Does that add a little bit of excitement to this fight? It does, yeah. It does. Like, uh, you know, the McGregor card, so many eyes. The whole world's going to be watching, and... Um, I think it's a, it's a good chance for me to like really show what I can do, you know, and get seen. Absolutely, so I'm excited. very excited. Yeah, especially after that last win, uh, which I mean, we might as well yeah. get into it. That, that that TKO victory. You know, it's funny. We had an interview leading into that fight. We sort of talked about how you wanted to sort of, you know, unleash the beast, so to speak, and that's pretty much what it looked like in that fight. Because you know, you talked yeah. about how you weren't getting finishes. Um, you know, where does that win rank in terms of career moments? Just you know, having uh, you know the weight of a loss coming into the fight and, and getting yeah. a quick finish like this. You know, like, it's really hard to like you know, say like, which win is the sweetest, which one felt the best. Cause like, if you, you want to talk about that, like probably the, the, my initial wins, like way back early in my career. Right. Cause it's mm-hmm. new and it's fresh. It's like losing your virginity or something. Right. It's like excited. <laughs> the first. And you, you used to winning, you know, but like, regardless of all that, I still think this was probably for me. Number. It's gotta be number one. It's gotta be number one. Cause like, I've just always wanted to finish a guy in this fashion, you know what I mean? Like, and, and ever since like the Ultimate Fighter and like being coined a like a boring wrestler and all this shit, like I was on this mission to learn striking, and then I did, and then, um, and and it all came together beautifully, right? So like, it, it's something that I can like for the rest of my life, no matter how the rest of my career goes. Like, I got this nasty finish in the UFC. You know, it's very memorable. Like, I'm never gonna forget that. It's always gonna st- stand out among. All the other fights, uh, it's, it's the first time. Well, and I think you could see it on your face in that post-fight interview. I remember right after the win, you know, when you're, you're talking to the, I, th- I think it was Bisping. I can't remember who it was that, that interviewed you after, but you were just so animated. And you could just see how much it meant to you to get a, a win like that in, in the first round. Um, you know, how much are you sort of feeding off that momentum from the last one heading into this fight? Because I, I, we sort of talked about, you know, Andrew Sanchez 2.0, you know, coming into 2021. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's, there's a ton of momentum, and I feel like this is very important because I'm a very mental – I mean, everyone's a mental fighter. I like fighting so fucking mental, but I am incredibly <laughs> mental, and so much is determined on my my state of mind and confidence and everything going on. And Like, I feel I feel good. I feel a bit like I felt last. And remember how excited I was? Like, right right when I talked to you the last interview, I was like, I was like, okay, like, I'm feeling – I think I, I can do this, like um, – and I'm feeling the, like the same way, so that's a really good um, way to go into this fight. Now, did you go back home for the holidays, or did you stay in Montreal? Man, I don't give a. I, mean, I, don't, give, <laughs> I don't really care about that. I mean, if I got a fight coming up, like whatever, I'm just I'm, I'm still in Montreal uh, training. You know, it's tougher in the holidays because you know a lot of people are gone. Um, but I have my my group, and I get my work done, and I care less. You know, I'm just focused on the the prize. So no holidays for me. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, I was just curious about that. Well, I saw your buddy Eric Spicely's fighting next Friday, so I'm sure that helps too. He's got a fight coming up, right? That does, yeah. So we're, we've, been, we've been training together, um, feeding off each other. He's fighting a week before me, and then he's going to hopefully come from Abu Dhabi, hop over to Yaz Island, and, and corner me for my... Oh, is he really? That's awesome. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah it makes sense where, where it's the card's located, right? So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's so. cool. Did you see, by the way, I just posted the, the poster this morning on my Twitter. Did you see they put Eric, uh, his nationality is Canadian? Did you see that? No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm I guessing because they're just like, he's from TriStar. He must be Canadian, right? So Yeah, I think, I think he, didn't he like have pick like after his, one of his fights, like take pictures with Canadian flag or like walk out? With oh, did he really? Oh, I mean, maybe I'm, maybe I'm out of the loop, but I just assume, because I, obviously I know, I knew Eric before he trained at TriStar, so I just assume that maybe he got wow. citizenship. I don't know. I'm not sure, but. Uh, no, but he does it. He, 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 I think he's working on it, but like, I know he came out like, like fighting out of Canada or something like. Oh, did he really? Okay. So then maybe I, I got this wrong then. Maybe I'm not up to date. Okay. I just thought that was interesting because I didn't know that. Um, yeah. But I'll say this as a fellow Canadian or as a Canadian. I mean, we'll take him. Nice guy. Yeah, yeah. You know, like he sort of fits we'll the mold him. as a Canadian. Does he not? He does. Yeah, he was he, he was meant for this place, man. You know? Yeah, no, I agree. That's awesome. Um, let's uh, let's talk about your opponent here. Uh, you'll notice I didn't say it off the top because I didn't want to butcher it. But he's twenty four and six record. Uh, Mur- oh. Muradov, I believe, is how you say it. Um, how do you feel like you match up against him here? Yeah, he's interesting. Interesting style, you know, like a uh, ton of move fights a bit like me, right? Like mm-hmm. he, 
He wants to draw you in with his movement and uh, almost like counter your counter. That makes sense. So um, he's good. He's slick. He, mm -hmm. he, he it's hard, but um, I'm a complete fighter. You know, I can do it all. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, he hasn't been like tested. I think like he had two fights in the UFC. Fought De Chirico, who's a tough guy. And, and and Trevor Smith, like a you know, couple punching bags, to be honest. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna really test him. I'm gonna see, you know, he hasn't been tested um, in the UFC yet, but I'm gonna fucking give it to him. Absolutely, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Um, and then you mentioned Eric Spicely. Who else are you getting to work with as far as bodies in the gym for this training camp? Oh boy, I was just done, I was, uh, just yesterday I was sparring with Mandel. You know Mandel Nalo? Of course I know Mandel. Secret the secret I, weapon at TriStar. He's the secret weapon. He's like insane, right? The, the master of distance management and, yeah. and the uh, just the master of distance game. Joe. And and he is near impossible to take down. Like just being fifty five, it's so crazy. I don't. He's a freak, man. What about the weight cut? Do you have to alter that a bit because of the travel time going to Fight Island? My weight's never really an issue. I, I put on a, you know, I put on a bit of muscle, like, I've been hitting the strength and conditioning um, over a center replay with my people. And, uh, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm pretty physical this time around. So I, 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 my weight was a bit higher. So, but whatever. Like, it, it, it falls right off. It's not going to be an issue, you know. Like, yes, the, 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 the traveling and the flight, you do, there's some more water retention and things like that, but. I, to be honest, to be honest, I'm not too concerned about it. No worries. I like the honesty there. Um, you mentioned Eric uh, potentially cornering you. Who else will be in the cage with you that night, as far as your cornerman? Uh, got old Conrad Pla, <laughs> striking master, um, and Pat Smith. Pat Smith from from back in uh, around St. Louis, where I grew up. Mm -hmm. I love having him around. He reminds me of where I came from. He's kind of been a, a bit of a mentor for me. So he's uh more emotional, uh, moral support kind of thing, you know? Awesome. That and, sounds uh, good. When are you actually heading down there? Like, when's your flight? So I'm leaving on the 13th. Uh, it's the next Wednesday, and they fly us all out to Vegas first where we get tested and quarantined. Quarantine, for two yeah, that makes sense. Okay. And and, and then we, same thing, we go fly, fly to Abu Dhabi, tested, quarantined for two days, and then if we get through all the tests, because the tests are wonky, man, like, you know, the false positives and... You, I don't know. It's, it's a bit stressful for everybody. You know, we don't know how things are going to play. Maybe he gets fucking COVID. Maybe I, maybe coach, you know, who knows what's going to happen. So yeah. um, hopefully we get through that smooth and get to fight week and hang out on the beach and um, beat up some of the Becky. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, how's the fight playing out on January 23rd? How do you envision the fight playing out? Uh, I think I'm going to overwhelm this guy. I think, I think he's going to put up a good fight. You know, he's got a lot of, um, he's got a lot of confidence, you know. He's got a whole country behind him, the whole country of Uzbekistan. He's got Uzbekistan. He's got like a fucking million followers. Who has a million followers? Are you mm -hmm. Kim Kardashian? <laughs> like, what's going on? It's so crazy. Yeah. Um, but but you know, I know that like I used to train with a lot of like Eastern European guys from like or Dagestan or whatever, Chechnya, and like in these small countries, man. If you're a, a uh, an MMA star, like you're a god, right? Like mm -hmm. this old guy used to train from Chechnya, like the, the the politicians would buy him like new cars and houses, and right. So like, I know he's living a good life. I know he's got good top of the line training. Like, I know he's confident. I know he's skilled, but I'm nasty, and I he can bring into deep waters, and we'll see if uh, he can hang. You know, I hope to drown him a bit. Where does a win put you here, especially another finish? Because that's got to make some noise in the division, and I would think, uh, you know, get you in the in the rankings or close to the rankings. Is that kind of what you're thinking here? Yeah, I do think if I go out and I win impressively after my last knockout, um, I think they're going to give me a step up. They're going to give me, you know, maybe top 15, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, I can't I, – I, I, gotta, I, gotta, I have to win impressively. You know, I know that's what the UFC wants, the people want. I think I can do it. And uh, I think, yeah, after this fight, I'm going to get a big opportunity. And we're looking forward to it, man. January 23rd, UFC 257. Andrew, always appreciate the time, man. Just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you've got any thank yous or shout outs, the floor is yours. Yeah, uh, always at, at El Dirty Sanchez. Um, Instagram, Facebook, across the board. Uh, big thanks to my gym, my coaches, TriStar, 
Conrad, Eric Spicely, Nicole here, um, my girlfriend helped me out a lot with diet and things like that. Uh, Center Replay, these guys helped me a ton with uh, everything, physio, strength and conditioning, diet, and uh, and then old Danny, my manager Danny. Appreciate you, bud. Uh, that about sums it up.